Hey, Chip here with Fly Oz. Well, that didn't take long. We just released version 5 of our content pack and we already have an improvement. We learned that later versions of ForeFlight have a nice feature using elevations for user waypoints, so we implemented it in version 5.1. In this short video, I'll explain the feature and how to get it working. As you probably know, the profile view in ForeFlight shows the terrain and the elevation of airfields in the flight. It's a nice visual to help with planning. But user airfields in our content pack haven't displayed that way in the profile view. They look like this, with no elevation information for user-defined airstrips. ForeFlight's fixed that, so you can get a great profile view of flying to and from the FlyOz airstrips. If you'd like to take advantage of this feature, you need to be at ForeFlight release 14.5 or later. That was released in June of 2022. You can see what release you're using by clicking on More and then About. At the top of the resulting page, you'll see the version number of your ForeFlight. In the case of this iPad, we're at 13.9. If it's less than 14.5, you'll need to upgrade ForeFlight and reinstall our Content Pack version 5.1. So here's how to get this working. The first step is to edit your flight plan, and if you have any airstrips listed, clear them out. Step two is to delete the current FlyOz content pack, even if it's version 5.1 already. In order to work properly, ForeFlight needs to do some magic to the content pack when it installs it. So go to More, Custom Content, and click on the FlyOz content pack at the left of the screen, and then click on Delete Content Pack at the bottom of the screen, and confirm the delete. Now you're ready for the next step, to install the latest version of ForeFlight. Go to the App Store and click on the user icon at the top right of the page. Scroll down until you find ForeFlight and click on Update. This will install the most current version of ForeFlight. The final step is to reinstall the FlyOz Content Pack. So go to the FlyOz website and download the latest version, 5.1. If you'd like more detailed information on deleting and installing our Content Pack, Take a look at our version 5.0 video. Now we're ready to edit a flight plan and see if it worked. Try Ponca to Richland. When you click on the profile tab, it should display the airstrips at the correct altitude. That's it. We'll keep looking for ways to improve our content pack. We learned about this four flight elevation feature from one of our content pack users. So if you have any suggestions about improvements, please let us know. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Fly Oz. Be safe. Come see us.